with another art tutorial how to paint a pear, realistic looking pear. Uh, so yeah, uh, the video is going. I had to run it through a little bit because I cannot skip it. So I've been doing uh, a lot of chatting <laughs> and this is a pre-recorded video it was from one of my streams on Periscope uh, and it's hidden there. So now we are putting them back up and on Hubs. I am streaming from Hubs TV. Follow me here, please. Download the app, Hubs, uh, dot TV. And if you put slash invite at Bobby Becker, then it comes from me. So people know that uh, I suggested you to come here. I am an artist and a live streamer for the last six years. I do art tutorials. Sometimes I do travel, sometimes coffee chats, sometimes a bit of fashion or body painting. So yeah, make sure you follow me, subscribe, uh, turn the notifications on, but uh, I am every night, 8.30 GMT, London time that is, uh, live. So yeah, thank you very much for uh, joining. I'm not receiving no comments as yet, but uh, I will see if the comments are working and if I am live, to be honest. <laughs> so uh, that is a photo right there of my, um, let me remove this one of my pair. I took a lot of pictures of my pair, well, of pairs, to be honest. And uh, there you go. A little photo of the pair that I'll be painting today. Uh, on the photo is really green and lovely, but uh, when I printed it, because my printer had run out of color, it looks more yellowish. But it's all good, it doesn't matter, because we have the you know, uh, it's, it's not showing that I am live on hub. Oh, I, I am live on hubs. Okay, I can see now. Uh, so let me put this hello from London. As you come in, please share and invite your followers. You know the drill because it's always good. Oh, I got the first email from hubs. Congratulations, over 500 people watching. And in two minutes, it's gonna be congratulations, over 1,000 people watching. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I love these emails. I get about five of them until we reach 10,000, but then when it's 50,000, I don't receive no more messages. So that's all good. And I can see that I am live on Periscope. I'm going to go and say hello, guys, on Periscope. And of course, uh, retweet here my stream just in case people haven't uh, seen it. So, yeah, uh, enjoy this tutorial. Please ask any questions you might have and uh, get engaging. I love chatting with you guys. I have a coffee right here in front of me. Uh, if you see here, you can see this is the pair, the finished pair on uh, my screen, and this is my lovely coffee. So, I'm gonna have a coffee and I just have a chat with you guys, and we listen to some cool jazz. Hello, hello, how are you? Sweet pixels, hi, welcome, welcome. You're watching from Twitter. Hi. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Uh, that is, is that WT people? Is that Korean? Is that Korean? I can see some, or is that Japanese? Hold on. I can't see uh, the lettering. It sounds like Korean. I'm not sure. But if it's Korean, is uh, Annyeonghaseyo. If it's uh, Japanese, it's Konnichiwa. And if it's Chinese, Ni Hao. <laughs> and if it's Vietnamese, Jin Chao. <laughs> I can say hello in all them. Oh, hold on. And I know uh, Salama Page. <laughs> oh, dear. It's been ages since. Uh, yes to Korean. Are you Korean? I know, how are you? 
Oh, I'm Korean. Oh, I love Korea. Oh, I love Korea. I love. I live uh, in the biggest South Korean community in London, near New Malden. Hello, Peter Bittner. How are you? And um, my my son's best friend is Korean. Sarangi. I am doing the the fingers. Hold on. Hold on. I'm doing this. Sarangi. <laughs> uh, I am learning Korean. Kamsamnida. <laughs> oh dear. I love Korean. I love Korean food. You know what I was eating until now? I was eating fish cake. Hold on, I'll show you. Stay there, Korean friend. Stay there. I'm gonna show you. Great. Okay, where is Korea? Uh, I'm gonna show you. So before I started streaming, I was eating, okay? And my mouth is hot, because these are spicy sausages. Uh, these are fish sausage, and these are Korean. I love this. So I was eating this, uh, and if you are like really good, then you can combine this with this about of ju soju but i love the plum soju they have um grapes as well and strawberry all kind but i love the plum soju so i usually have a bit of soju the plum and i get some of my fish cakes so my mouth is so hot i was having now sausages and uh, coffee, yeah. Hello, hello, Will. How are you? Welcome, welcome. And I, of course, I have like Korean um, um, thing on my phone. <laughs> oh dear! Look on my phone is the typing is all Korean because I'm learning Korean. Thank you. Kamsamnita. <laughs> okay, let's take this other screen that I'm showing sausages. I don't know if you saw the sausages, but you will. You will at some point. So, uh, how's everybody tonight? Happy Monday. First day of the week. We love the first days of the week, don't we? First days of the week, we just head over and uh, grab the week by the balls, as they say. Or is it by the horns? I don't know. Whichever. <laughs> and run with it. Uh, so, yeah. People hate Mondays. I don't hate Mondays. It's just any other day, pretty much. And now, with pandemic, you're always at home. So, you can't even hate Monday no more. So, to go over to what I'm doing, I drew the pear that I have in the picture. And I'm doing a very, very kind of pale... Um, I have put some yellow and uh, kind of have mixed it because that is very pale yellow, to be honest. Is which one it is? Is this one? Is Naples yellow? So it's a bit of Naples yellow, and I'm mixing tiny bit of sub green there, just really little, and uh, putting the first layer. And this is going to serve as a highlighter as well for the pair, where you see the highlight on, uh, you know, the left side. So I'm having the light source because I I took the pictures close to the window, and my the window was on the left. Oh look, you go! I got the third email. Congratulations! Over two thousand people watching. It's gonna get there. Nine minutes, 2,000 people. Not bad. Thank you, guys. Hello from Los Angeles. Well, hello, Pablo. I hope you're feeling better, my friend. Because, uh, yeah, I feel I feel for you. I feel your pain. <laughs> uh, nice to chat to you early as well. 
check out Pablo's stream, guys, if you are into karting and stuff. But uh, yeah, he did like 16 hours race. Uh, my heart was racing and I had to leave because I was getting panic attacks. I get panic attacks when I go to uh, freaking TK Max to shop only because I see so many people about and uh, they throw things all over the place. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's how it is. So if you don't follow me, guys, make sure you do, okay? And if you not intending to watch any art or coffee chat or join me again, don't bother, you know? Uh, if you are serious about being entertained by the best streamer on Periscope and on Hubs, to be honest, hey, sorry, I have to say it. I mean, if I put myself down, then nobody else is going to put me up, is it? <laughs> so, yeah, being entertained, learning a bit of art, having a laughter. I have infectious laugh, they say, a hyena laugh, but trust me, you'll laugh also okay so here we go we put that little stem a bit of burnt amber in there and just mixing we're giving it a bit of a highlight pear is the easiest kind of fruit i thought to paint but i like to do one of the little round fat ones they are so juicy and good aren't they mm. this stream was a little bit funny because i have pre-recorded so at some point if you see me showing other fruits during the stream or doing anything else keep in mind that i was streaming live i was painting this live on periscope so that's why i might you know move or because i chat to my uh, followers and community okay i am on perry let me go here uh, Hello, Todd, how are you? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> no, I did not eat my subject, but guess what? When was it? Like few, a couple of weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, there was somebody, I think he, it was first time for him on my stream, but I made him a follower and we were talking because I had just bought some pears and I did eat the subject. He told me about this beautiful, um, ha, 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 you talk like my drawing teacher. Do I? Yay. That's good. Is that good or bad? Do you like your drawing teacher? Because if you hate her, that's not good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and he told me how to make uh, these pears with burn well burn some sugar he said in butter and put the pears in and they became like crispy on the outside soft and i put some um, nuts walnuts on top it was so good i talk like your uh, teacher is she albanian does she have an accent or is she like korean but she's funny <laughs> there you go we got a a pear that this pear that is right now on the screen looks like is peeled now we have to dress the pear and uh, put a little bit of green in there she drew really cool things saying it's easy like but it is easy it is very easy it's easy peasy lemon squeezy plus if um if you practice, everything becomes super easy. But if you don't know much about art and you can follow through like a tutorial step by step, then you will realize that it is easy. You will surprise yourself, right? So say a lot of people that have come here, they say to me, oh, I cannot draw a stick figure. Uh, and uh, then uh, they try to draw or follow in the tutorials and they do it really good and they are surprised wow well i am surprised as well but how good they are but in reality i'm not as surprised because i know that anybody can paint and uh, yeah everybody everybody can do anything like in terms of painting 
lemon squeezy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's make some lemonade. We have the lemon there. But yeah, all the fruits are easy and everything. I did not go to New Malden today to my Seoul Plaza get some uh, fruit. It was so cold today. Hello, my dear Lumpy. How are you? And welcome. I'm designer, so practice in draw fast and simple. That is good. Yeah, what did, like, you design clothes, I, I presume. Do you think anyone can draw paint well if, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Anybody can draw. Yeah, I um, I do also bespoke fashion, so I hand paint clothes. I'm a little bit of a designer myself, but I don't uh, do like from scratch and what have you. I, I paint and I work closely with other designers. So they would make the collection and then I would paint my third live broadcast watching you. Thank you, Todd. And I see you and you learned how to zoom from me, you said. So you learned already something new. <laughs> I know you are here third time. <laughs> Oh dear. And I'm happy that you are here. Well, I'm happy for everybody that is here. For you guys coming in and, uh, you know, checking my channel and enjoying. Is the music okay? Is it too low, too loud? I know that I am loud. Thank you for sharing, Dirk. And uh, this is not going to be too long, so do not be afraid of spending the whole evening with me. Oh, thank you, Lumpy, because I think it's just in one sitting, one video. I don't have to play two videos or three videos or this and that. This will be like an easy-peasy little pair. Uh, true, learn to zoom. <laughs> yeah. Well, today I had a meeting with the Hubs team. It was very good. And uh, I uh, suspect that some new updates are going to come soon. Well, well, I am hoping in the near future, some updates that I like to see happening. And uh, I know that they will happen because every suggestion that I have made so far has happened. So I know those guys work tirelessly. <laughs> yes, you love my hyena laugh. It's infectious. You are infected already. Uh, being good artist is about what to draw. Now drawing well uh, is about what to draw. Yeah, well, uh, yes. I mean, me, I started drawing um, and sketching from when I was four or five years old. And then I went to take lessons and I had a tutor uh, and he used to lock me in the studio really and uh, give me these sculptures to draw and get the highlights and volume and shadows and all that. But he used to say, okay, uh, draw uh, 50 of those uh, until you perfect it and or feet, hands, uh, faces, everything like anatomy. Uh, so I never, I did not paint um, with colors until I went to art school. I've done like pencils and stuff, but I never painted in colors. Because he used to say to me, unless you master drawing and you know anatomy, you know drawing, and you know, you know everything about drawing. So it was more like the old masters kind of teaching ways. He used to say to me, you cannot be an artist because painting is easy because then you just add color to your drawing. It's just that simple. But once you know the volume, you know composition, you know everything and uh, you learn that by drawing. But I must have done, oh my God, I don't know, uh, 5,000 over 5,000 like drawings in terms of hands, feet, faces, everybody's hands and feet and faces. And, uh, so yeah, 
and yesterday I found some drawings from school, from my art school. They were in the shed, so I am very annoyed that they have become dumb because my mom had saved them. I'm gonna go downstairs and check. Uh, infection, <laughs> good memory. Of course I have good memory, thank you. I practice my memory. I have these books I used to study from 15 years ago by Tony Buzan, making your memory like top notch. Uh, I highly suggest it. If you want to, uh, get your memory like up there but yeah if we can play that game i've done that game on periscope uh, each of you can give me a word then i hide them i hide the word i will memorize them and boom i will tell you them as as you have told me like one by one i will memorize them in like five minutes and i will call you out the name 50 100 names whatever some objects, different objects, just by kind of memorizing them. Once you know uh, how to do it, it's very easy then. And I have gotten the book, the same book, but uh, it's for kids, for my son. Yeah, it's really good. Let me go get those drawings because I have seen them somewhere when I cleaned the shed. Oh my God, this is so funny. I'm gonna take you in memory lane. Ah, oh, that's good. Yes, that's good. Me too. Well, I remember, I remember like when people come in and uh, it depends what conversation you do with people. And if you have people like, that you converse more often and they are engaging. That's why I tell people, get engaging, because I will memorize. I know, uh, I don't know, things about them that, that they shared on the stream. Or So, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I got the drawings. These are over, I don't know, hold on. Uh, like very, very old, maybe. You could write a book about how to draw cool like you. <laughs> well, who said I, I am not writing it? <laughs> Hello, Rods62. How are you? Welcome. You are coming from Reddit, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah wow i can't believe these are like over 28 years old this drawing i'm gonna show you guys hold on let me see what's in here oh my god these are my school drawings so this is the pair you'll still continue so this is my drawings when i was like from uh, 14, 16 years old, my mom had saved them and I had this in the attic. So this is the level, what I used to draw. This is portraits. I have to share pictures. These are amazing because I'm like, they used to be in the wall in the school. You know, when they share student works, let me just see what else is in here. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. Okay. Oh, is this old guy? I remember him. Oh my god. Let me see. There we go. So when I was saying that I did a lot of portraits, hold on. Maybe if I put this in the first screen, you guys will be able to see better. 
Okay, so these are the drawings from my very young age. Oh, hold on. The light is not... Uh, I have to open the camera setting so my camera is a little bit better. One second, guys. So it's this one. It's this one. It's all down the end, yeah? With hands. Look at that. You see the hands? Haha. Hold on a minute. Because I'm fixing the settings. Okay. You see? There is the hands down here. It's huge, this. And then is another one. I don't know who is. Oh, this old woman. She was so lovely. I remember her. Yeah, yeah. But um, let's let's do this first. The tutorial. What is this? This is number one. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? These are drawings from my childhood. These are over 28 years old, 25, 28, something like that. But I feel so bad because they were in the up in the shed, and from the dump they have become so bad. What? Oh, it's oh god! It's morning here. Oh what? Oh my god! I remember this old man. This old man, very expressive. This is the drawing. I mean, like, look at that. How amazing. I loved drawing. This looks like kind of the Michelangelo era. <laughs> the paper looks so old. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? When I'm, like, dying, uh, people will say, oh, wow, look. And this is some of her early work from school. <laughs> It's full of dump from the shed. Yeah, nice. Well, I do. I have done uh, animals. I have done everything. I mean, I don't think there is things a burden. Uh, there is not much I haven't done. Uh, recent work in uh, or Google, huh? To be honest, I am building my new website. So from my old website, my old website, which is most of the stuff, is my fashion work because I do makeup and body painting. Uh, my website, hold on, let me put it. Val. Oh, no. mm. Dot com. I do makeup and body painting as well. Uh, but... My new website would be bobbybecker.com. I will put together, uh, before my website uh, is launched, because I have a new website, bobbybecker.com, which is going to be just for art and art sales. But uh, I am in my studio at the moment. I will show you guys some of my artworks. And maybe after I finish this stream, I will surprise you. I'll do a little mini exhibition. I'm going to show you my ladies. I've done a uh, collection of ladies. I should have one of my uh, things in here. Hold on. Do I have uh, I have it here? Maybe not. I don't know. Huh. No. Yeah, I'm going to put something together. Don't worry. And, um, yeah. Usually people just on Periscope, I show most of the things live. But as in terms of artwork, artwork, but you can see all my, uh, the collection of the fruit that I've been doing. So this is um, all the fruit that I've been painting until now. There is the pear. Yesterday, if you join Hubs TV or even on Periscope, just check replays. These are the fruit collection. How to paint kind of realistic flu fruit. I have done the strawberry. I have done the orange. Well, more like tangerine. 
and we get an orange in here with a thick skin. Congrats! Over 5,000 people have viewed your broadcast. There you go. Hops keep sending me those men emails. <laughs> uh, there we go. Pomegranate. I am using um, PB acrylics there and some uh, Liquitex and we have a nice persimmon there. I have a long list of fruit that people, lots of apples here because some were done offline, some were done online. Did you check? You know what? No, I didn't. Let me check it now. Uh, a little lemon. I'm going to check on the dragon fruit right this second. Hold on. Let me just show. Mm -hmm. Lemon. Watermelon. So now... I told you that uh, that is uh, pre-recorded, so if I'm showing anything on screen, it's because I'm showing to the people. And I have done that flower sometime close to when I was painting um, my fruit. There we go. And we had the banana in there. So yeah, that's so many fruits, but I have a lot of suggestion from people for different fruit. Uh, let me check the dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Uh, dragon fruit. Which one is it? Dragon fruit. It's funny, isn't it? Fail to connect? Why is my connection off? Did I get disconnected at all here? Somehow, I felt like I got disconnected on hops. Yeah, I'm showing you different acrylic paints there. Um, what acrylics I usually use. So I have many kinds of acrylics. And in terms of... Uh, you know oh yeah i see it now i never seen it i never seen dragon fruit before wow that's very interesting i wonder what it tastes like where am i to find the dragon fruit i'm gonna have to you to to see a picture and paint it from a picture now because i don't think i can find the dragon fruit in the shop can i <laughs> I thought it was 3,000 or 30,000. I never ever seen a dragon fruit. But it looks cool. And they do dragon fruit smoothie. Huh. I wonder if they are in the shops in the UK. I don't know. Okay. So after you put the layer of the pale yellow and you put a little bit of the green, I mix different kind of, um, it's from Asia. Okay, so I'm going to go to um, New Molden, to Seoul Plaza, because um, that is an Asian shop, Korean shop. So maybe they have. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I do. I draw them and then I eat them. I eat my subjects. <laughs> dragon fruit or dragonflies you you tell you saying dragonflies <laughs> are you eating uh insects now <laughs> you mean dragon fruit lumpy yeah that's what i do i paint them and i eat the subjects of my work at the moment, I'm going to drink coffee. Coffee. It's in, in Korean, it's coffee, not coffee. 
it's so funny like once you get older how the words like change so where in south korea do you live whereabouts do you live or do you live in korea at all yeah uh there is degao degao or Daegu? How do you pronounce it? Daegu or Daegu? Daegu, I think, is it? There is a body painting festival in Daegu, I think you say. But uh, it's really good and it's getting really big. Seoul, okay. Well, I go shop at Seoul Plaza and I like to come to Seoul to have some fun. I am watching, I, I watch a lot of Korean dramas too. There is one very violent at the moment. Uh, the Korean mums, you know what? The Korean mums are very strict. They push the kids to study too much. Is that a real? I mean, I'm watching this uh, movie, The Penthouse. Oh my God, those moms are evil of the rich kids. They make their kids study so much and horrible. So many backstabbing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh my God. It has unique shape and color. Yeah, I'm gonna do the dragon fruit. Any more cake left? No, the cake is gone, but we make uh, more. We make more, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there was a show they did. Uh, and um, they did about uh, how much kids in Korea study compared to the ones in UK. And they took a couple of Korean kids in uh, Scotland, I think, like exchange student and they took a few three uh, british students went to south korea and they saw how much these kids study and the korean kids were saying oh we want uh, the some of the things to change because they don't get time for recreational activities and sports and like playing like that they they read and they study a lot you are moving to another country that's good your english is really good though i'm going to move uh what country would you move if you move to like more like another uh, asian country or uk or america i don't know where would korea i think we have a lot in uk like it's here where i live new Malden, has the biggest community of Co south koreans in the whole of europe so if you are moving in UK, you probably will come live in New Malden. <laughs> yeah, because you probably have family down there. Everybody is like so many. Outside of South Korea is the biggest community in Europe, in the West. Oh, I'm going to have some uh, soju kombe. Oh, I love soju. I don't know, but not Japan. London, London. Come to New Malden. It's really good. Because you have lots of Koreans here, so you're not going to feel like homesick. Lots of Korean food, uh, Korean barbecue. You go to amazing. I love the barbecue. Oh, my God, so good. I love Korean food. I go every Saturday with my son eat mm. kombe i'm gonna have now boldak bong fish sausage boldak bong and it's a bit spicy it's good <laughs> lumpy did you find the spicy sausages in uh, germany because you said you're gonna go look to find them and the soju, did you find soju? It's funny, every time I drink soju, I sing soju gang, soju gang, soju gang. <laughs> you know that song? Uh, uh, thank you, Rudy. Uh, 
you know that song that he sings, I don't know, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, and I sing, Soju Gang, Soju Gang, Soju Gang. <laughs> it's one of my favorite. Is it? Oh, nice. Nice. Well, I like this red bean soup they do, and uh, the miso soup, but is this red bean is really good. And they have this nice, funny, real, real good soups. Mm. <laughs> you found it? Oh, nice. Did you try soju? Soju gang, soju gang, soju gang. <laughs> You should see my Korean um, uh, books. I have so many of them. <laughs> mm. We're only 41 minutes in the stream. And we're almost done. This is not going to be very long. I'm the one who cannot eat spicy food. You know what? These are very spicy. Yeah, I don't like them way, way, way too spicy, but I eat a little bit of spice. Hello from Conakry. Where is Conakry, I wonder? Hello, Omar. Hello. Do I say salam alaikum to you? So my life in Korea is like... Yeah, I know, right? Um, because a lot of... You, you, well... It's a lot of spicy food in Korea. Oh, oof, this is hot. It's like something that you want it and you don't. I don't know. Oof. Okay. Oh, hold on. Nanam Yasul Gaya. Is that how you say? Nanam Yasul Gaya. So I am an artist. <laughs> But I wonder if he's an artist or is it a painter like I'm painting houses. Nanam yesul kal gal kuchinda. It's so funny, me speaking uh, Korean. Yeah. There are different kinds of soju. Yeah, there's a lot of different kinds. Have to try. Uh, yeah, try them all. Hello, hello, Brett. How are you? <laughs> So far, all three broadcasts I watch, we talk about, I love soup. I love soup. <laughs> oh, was that good? I mean, in like pronouncing them. Now you see my face there, because this is a pre-recorded uh, video. Yeah. Yeah, I have to learn the pronunciation. Nanan London London I have to say the eh London Salgoisad Salgoisa Yeah? I live in London. <laughs> oh dear. Guys, I'm showing my Korean skills there. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm painting of. These are pads. These are acrylic pads, and uh, they are for mixed media or acrylics, or you can use oils in them. I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. These are for artist markers. I am sorry. This was pre-recorded, so when I was doing this live, I keep getting distracted, and I keep showing people all different things. So, and this is one of the things I want Team Hubs to do. 
uh, the option of skipping bits of the video because on the video I have a lot of things and um, so yeah look at that and I want to skip this part say look how beautiful that four artist marker looks though <sighs> Oh, thank you. You are very kind. Kaloping Badger. That's a comment from um, the Reddit, isn't it? <laughs> so there's a little pear. It looks juicy enough, no? And I'm chatting, I'm chatting away. You're probably just going to watch me chat and watch the sky. I don't know. I make too many faces. Uh, and in the beginning on Periscope, you had to wait because Periscope used to grab one of your pictures to put as uh, the screen, like when the video starts. And my, you know, when you share on Twitter and stuff, all the videos that people share is with my mouth open or watching up in the sky. It's like I'm praying to God. <laughs> yeah, I make to me. I'm a very expressive person. And I talk with hands and ha. Oh. <laughs> How are you today, Brett? By the way, if you do enjoy my uh, broadcasts and like to support me, this is where you go. You go to buymeacoffee.com slash Bobby Becker if you are watching from uh, Periscope. But if you are watching from Hubs, then there is a buy me a coffee uh, little button uh, right on the app. And also there is an option you can support the live streamers by clicking on the words. And you give a word that translates into coins and we can cash them out. Uh, there are as little as 10 cents, which is nothing. Uh, or you can buy a coffee or two. I mean, you can go crazy by 10 or 50. I mean, nobody to stop you. And I do drink a lot of coffee. I'm drinking one right now. Coffee, soju, and build that bong. <laughs> that's it oh thank you so much Todd. i really appreciate it i am safe indeed thank you for the stay safe award appreciate it yes safe into my studio oh, okay yeah so i'm waiting oh god i forgot to mention to the hub steam the uh, the other camera addition i want another camera to be added I probably write in thank you for to somebody or something. Just been. Who is it? I think it was Dimi. Let me see. Just if oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, guys. High five! High five to you all. High five! Uh, I am just adding a little tiny black brush strokes. Uh, if you are going to do any fruit at all, uh, just take your time. Take your time if you want them realistic looking. Take your time into adding layers 
and I don't use too much paint. I hardly grab, it's only the residue of the color I'm using kind of thing. I always wipe my brush. If you see, I have a little paper next to, and I always just wipe, even though I pick up the, brush, the color from my palette, I always wipe it away. And I just keep residue, whatever is left in there. So I go very, very faint, faint layers, layer after layer, and I build up. And that gives a little bit of texture and dimension, the volume, and it's really good that way. So that's how I work. I work in layers. So if you follow kind of that way of thought, I don't know, strategy, instead of adding lots of color all at once, uh, and focusing on detail, um, just go slowly, building up layer by layer, and take your time. And you can w work through where the you know light sources and all the shadows, and make sure it's not black, it's not black shadows or what have you. Uh, the shadows, the darkest shadows, is always the same, whatever color you paint in your object or subject, whatever you have, is just darker. It's the darkest three, four, I don't know, sometimes it's two uh, shades darker, sometimes it's four, sometimes it could be darker, but uh, yeah, you just darken it a little bit, and uh, or a lot. But I start with the highlights, so I will always put the first layer will be the highlight which will be the points it's going to show as a highlight so that first green the naples well naples yellow that i put on now you can see that looks like white right in the middle it looks like it's my highlight it's like white but it's not actually that is naples yellow uh, so that's why you put establish the highlights first and then by building up, you're going to get the mid-tones, you go check where the mid-tones are, and after you establish that, you continue then on and put all the darkest parts, the shadows and, yeah, and just build up on your artwork, very sh small little strokes, that's how we, I work, because uh, that's how the pair is, isn't it? Like small little, it has dents and kind of little dots in there. If you have questions, please do ask. Don't hesitate to ask questions because, yeah, I love interaction and I love to help and answer your questions you might have. So, where is everybody watching from today? Let's see. Let's see if we have any newcomers. We know that somebody from Seoul, so thank you, Seoul, Seoul, Kamzanida, or the Korean person. Your accent reminds me of my doctor. Sound like her. Where is she from? Sometimes people take me for Italian, and sometimes when I'm mad and my arse becomes even stronger, they say, are you Russian? I'm like, no, I'm not Russian. I'm like peacefully painting. <laughs> uh, Lake Tahoe, California. Oh, is it? Okay. Hello, my lovely Mel. How are you today? I hope you are done with the show bees and the pregnant ladies. <laughs> uh, Oh, she's from Croatia. Okay, so that figures because Croatia is just next door to me and it's beautiful place. Beautiful. They have amazing beaches in Croatia. They're, they're yeah, seaside. Beautiful. Oh my God, it's Dimi. Thank you ever so much, Dimi. I was just reading your comment and if you see replay, you're going to see, oh, I was like that because I read it. And it made me sad a little bit. But thank you so much for the coffee, though. But I got, I need to talk to you. Yes. What? I've been missing you. I'm like, i asking in every scope, where is Dimi? Where is Dimi?
there you go uh, let me put this up and thank you very much Dimi for the coffee because I'm putting them up now <laughs> look at that thank you so much <laughs> Yeah, well, because I sent you a message and I said, which mask? Because I'm going to send you a mask. But I thought, sending you anime and whatever I have done here, I want to make you something special, bespoke. So if you have a logo or a game that you prefer or something, please do let me know. Because I want to do that and send it to you. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's okay. PayPal is fine. I am happy. Don't stress yourself. Thank you so much. Oh my god, this sausage is so hot. Mm. So, so I have this um, thing, right? Yes, I need to know what's going on. Oh, have I finished? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Only one hour. Oh, look, I'm showing Lumpy the water, probably saying my water is very old. So I'm going to fill my old water and change my dirty water and then come back. Because Lumpy worries a lot about me getting dehydrated. So he always reminds me to drink water. <laughs> I have an amazing community. They all worry about me. So, and we have Mel from Australia right here. There she goes. She's, um, uh, yeah, give her a follow as well because she's live streamer. Oh, there goes my other email from Hubs. Congratulations on over 10,000 viewers. <laughs> it's a lovely Eric suggested the pair yesterday which was cool and uh, yeah it's a short scope today just 58 uh, minutes so it will be like just an hour and a bit I suppose let me see how long does it go but it shouldn't be long at all uh, oof oh my god this sausage is so hot guys <laughs> I know, right? It was a naked pair. Oh, good. It says here 2 hours 19, but it shouldn't be. Because the other bit is I was doing a little sketch with soft pastels. The Rembrandt pastels. Remember the pair we did? Yeah, so when I first started, uh, the pair was just with Naples yellow. And it looked like a peeled pear. So now I'm dressing the pear and I put some skin on it. <laughs> I know, right? She is awesome. We love our Mel. Yes. And I am pear shaped, heavy bottom. Well, not actually. I am hourglass because pear is more if you are bottom uh, heavy but not top. I am hourglass figure. It looks so lifelike. Oh, thank you, Mel. I mean, I could stop this video right here, to be honest, and just leave it there. But at this point, I think it looks better in white. I put some uh, a little bit of a background, didn't I, afterwards. Whatever. If you guys want me to leave it at one hour, I can just leave it here without putting a background. But uh, in essence, 
all else, the pair is done, all else I added is just uh, the background. I put a little bit of blue to kind of make the pair stand out a bit more. But um, yeah, pretty much I can save you the pain of staying for hours uh, watching. Well, it's a few more minutes, really. But I am going to do a quick pair in a, a soft pastels. That's the Rembrandt the pastels that I was using because I saw a little bit of um, the broadcast. Thank you so much for the word, Mel. Thank you. Yes. And where is Dimmy? I have to do Dimmy there. Thank you, Dimi. Look, I'm putting the banners. This is great because now I can I just put a picture. Can you see the picture okay there? The thank you. Thank you, Dimi, for the coffee. And uh, of course, um, everybody else and Eric and Mel um, uh, appreciate it. And everybody that uh, gave awards on Hubs TV. Where is Mel and Todd and Brett? Thank you ever so much, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, if any of you likes to support, please, you can go to uh, buymeacoffee.com slash Bobby Becker. Or you can go to paypal.me slash Valbona B. There is the link here on this big screen. You see? I don't know. Can you see it here? Probably. Yeah, you see that? Hmm. I can't remove the video though. <laughs> yeah, I can't remove the video. Uh, but um, it's all good. Oh, thank you so much, Pablo. Thank you. It's been a little bit quieter tonight. Like what? Only almost 11,000 people? No, no, we need like loads. Nah, it's okay. The pair is easy going and what have you. Uh, but um, what I wanted to say is, guys, I have this idea. We have your next, what's your next project? Well, uh, next project is, I don't know. I'm just showing this fruit at the moment and I'm going to paint fruit since it's maybe tomorrow uh, I show kiwi. Kiwi is beautiful. Oh no, watermelon. I'm going to do watermelon tomorrow. This is the watermelon is beautiful and I love watermelon. Uh, but um, I am going to do an oil painting live. So probably uh, I could start at some point. What time is tonight? Oh, 21. Hmm. Maybe sometime this week I'll do a little painting. I could end it here, to be honest. 11 or 3, I don't know. One hour, it's better than going forever. Uh, the apple, you have seen it like in step by step how it went. Uh, the only thing to be added will be uh, just the background. I presume I went to get coffee and uh, water, but let's see what else have I done. I love watermelon. Yeah, well, uh, tomorrow night I'm going to do watermelon, my favorite fruit anyhow. And I love watermelon, so. It's so funny. Because when the video, what I figured out, uh, OBS kind of starts recording before you even freaking post, uh, put the record thing on. And uh, I could see when the video started, me checking my makeup and checking myself and zipping myself. I don't know, was I zipping or unzipping? <laughs> But most of the time, if I'm wearing jeans, I would like be unzipping it because I need to be able actually to unzip now. Uh, yeah, to breathe. We're going to do pineapple as well. I'm going to do pineapple. I'm going to do some fruit like offline as well. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> 
Oh dear, dear. So at this point, I don't know what I'm writing, but probably thanks to somebody for buying me coffee. I've been live, uh, so my face is just ooh, just made watermelon and fresh cranberry smoothie made with apple juice. Yummy! First time I oh really? Oh nice. Yes, and you told me you freeze watermelon. Nice. That sounds good. I don't know what else am I doing there. My thinking is, if I stop it here, I will save you some time from just going on and on, to be honest. Oh, am I continuing with the painting? I am, aren't I? So, Dimi, you have to reply my email, first of all. And if you have a logo for your gaming, send it, email it to me, please. If you don't, let me know. Oh, hold on. You do have, yeah, no, where are they? I don't know. I would have wanted to see them. I don't even know where they are. They are somewhere there, but um, yeah, we're gonna have a chat and uh, I'll show you. Uh, memory, please, but I know, I told you I got good memory, didn't I? <laughs> I remember every conversation I made do with people. Even like years after, I'd remember what we spoke about. <laughs> Anything from you? But do you have a logo though? Or a favorite game? Because doing something special would be better. I mean, I have, uh, I love Groot. Like the little Groot. I am Groot. I have all this anime stuff, but email me back, please. Okay, so there we go. I'm adding a little bit of a background after I painted because I wanted uh, my hair to stand out a little bit, the colors. And I would do this point, this this bit in the beginning, to be honest. But uh, yeah, after I went streaming and then I thought you know what it would look better if it's a background so cool yes hold on yes whoa it in the bottom I... <laughs> hold on hold on a minute frozen banana with a stick in it in bottom is great alternative as a low fat treat frozen banana i never had a frozen banana really Ha! Huh, you got me curious never ever had but how are you gonna eat the frozen banana that would hurt my teeth would you just lick it or bite on it frozen banana mm -hmm stick in bottom yeah i i got the bottom part <laughs> uh, i know uh yeah we all love in mel's uh, scopes and she's getting into it but poor mel has been so tired like christmas shopping and all that uh, but she's gonna get back more regular now that's all you need you need a couple of times going live and then boom uh, you get the hang of it and then you will realize what have I been doing all this time why haven't I streamed lumpy says Dimi how my buddy a long time you scope yeah lumpy hasn't I peel banana roll in melted chocolate and then wrapping clean wrap and put it in freezer huh it melted chocolate you mean that oh that sounds good hmm
Yeah, well, yeah, I mean... So we are five hours ahead. Yeah. What do you mean? Five hours with who? Chocolate is optional. You know what? Everything tastes better with chocolate. I mean like dark chocolate that is. Oh. Isn't it funny? Almost in every of my streams we touch up the subject of food. I think everybody here uh, is a bit food junkie. We love food, don't we? I love food. I love good food. Australia night, we 9.30. Ah, no, Australia should be morning now, man. Australia is morning. Yeah, it's next day. Now it's, it's, it's Tuesday already there. Tuesday, 8.30 a.m. there. Yeah. So it's 11 hours. And I, yeah, 11 hours. Yeah, it's next day there already. Frozen banana, always great. Yeah, yeah. In smoothies, yes, I understand. But we love food. Now I wonder, tell me, tell me, let's, let's do this quiz. What is uh, your favorite plate of food that you ever eaten and who cooked it? And why do you remember it? It could be as simple as porridge or your most memorable plate of food, you know? And what is it? that makes you like remember it was it the taste was it because somebody special cooked it uh is it the aroma or it brings you back this fuzzy feeling childhood memory what is it yeah i want to know what people's best plate of food is i mean it could be a couple i don't mind You can write, for example, your best uh, childhood memory, m memorable f like food dish you liked that brings you that, oh, you can smell it and, oh, this brings me back when I was a child. And your perfect dish you ever ate somewhere. <laughs> Sweet bread, uh, bread's flavor and texture because one of the first fancy dishes I learned to cook as a chef. Sweet breads and texture. Sweet breads. Hmm. I'm trying kind of to think which sweet breads. It sounds good, mm. but I mean like bread though. Mm. I like that's. I think that's what makes me fat. The bread. I love bread. <laughs> I like that too, Dimi. Every time I see it, yeah, I want homes and away. Let's go to Australia. A, a house with a pool. <laughs> yeah, but um. Bread is fantastic. The smell of bread is inviting, is homey, is delicious. You can eat the whole loaf as it comes out of the oven. Just a bit of butter on top and feta cheese and I'm good to go. <laughs> oh, yum, yum. Who else likes bread? I mean, I love bread. <laughs> I love bread. Any bread is good. Yeah. 
it's a gland from the cone but oh is it okay okay you're not talking about bread okay oh well i like bread breeds oh you said breeds okay and texture because okay i never taste a sweet glands hold on it's gland of the cow gland of the cow hmm. i never tasted that but i like bread not the cow <laughs> a childhood memory from traveling on family holidays oh nice is that why you do that now it's like childhood memory would be this um <laughs> is that funny the stuffing i eat the stuffing with just some feta cheese on top i love it and it reminds me when i was little uh yeah that would be one of them but uh the other best dish i've eaten in it was in south africa at the marina in uh, cape town a beautiful seafood platter sizzling amazing i can still taste it if i close my eyes i can smell it and taste it and i'm just looking at the painting i varnished uh, the painting of uh, the autumn scene and it's going to be wrapped up in a couple of days after it's proper dry and sent to his rightful owner a great low fat alternation to ice cream yeah well not if you put chocolate my dear mel because you say you roll it in chocolate <laughs> if you're rolling it in chocolate i don't think it will be that healthy <laughs> it depends what chocolate you're using as well oh that's so funny guys listen to me if you haven't shared or retweeted or invited your friends please do that now because i have to remind you also i have this uh thing i have this uh idea that i want i'm on uh, halfway there but to be the first uh streamer on haps to have the 1 million views, okay? So that's what we're going to do. It will take few more broadcasts to get there. So I would like you for the next upcoming days to share, tweet, retweet, and go crazy uh, because I want to reach the 1 million like ASAP and I want to be the first broadcaster on hubs. Yeah, that's it, to reach the 1 million views okay i i decided that just early this afternoon it did an hbo cooking segment preparing that seafood dish oh nice oh nice that sounds good pole cake lol roll what is it pole cake huh hello will how are you pole cake what do you mean pole cake i'm learning so many new things here i swear to god <laughs> sounds like a great goal thank you so much yes well i decided this afternoon uh that i am halfway there uh so might as well just go for the top do it get it over with so once i reach the one million i am going to do a giveaway thank you so much todd for the high five high five to you too i'm going to do a little painting giveaway i have some amazing things in here so i'm gonna do a little artwork ah pound cake you mean okay i get it i get it pound cake um and uh yeah so you're gonna get a little original bob becker art boom sent to you from 
me to you, the winner of. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, um, first of all, the people that get entered in the giveaway are the people that support me. So, say the top award givers on for the month that have been on well because i only been here for a month <laughs> the top award givers and whoever buys me coffees whoever is on buy me a coffees uh, will be entered automatically and of course my patrons get the priority because they've been patrons for ages so patrons Buy me a coffee, of course, Dimi. Dimi is uh, up there. <laughs> uh, let's go with their top share out. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so pretty much whoever is been given will get in return. And that would be a nice little, you know, Christmas gift. So if we get to a million before Christmas, that would be even more awesome because we can go like quick, quick. Do it. Boom, boom. So share away, babies. Share away. It's so early still. I feel like I can finish the pair and just go on, do another kind of fruit, get it out of the way. I don't know. Or we can have, I'll end this and do a mini exhibition. Somebody was asking me about the artworks. And I want to show people the lady collection. Uh, it will be like a little mini exhibition. I'll show you guys some of my artworks and I'm going to leave that there. But uh, I haven't shown the ladies on hops like ever. And I want to show them. What do you guys think? Shall we end this and we do a little let's show you art mini exhibition? Well, I'm not finished yet, I, I presume. Look, I'm still doing. Yeah? It's not going to be too long, but yeah, the woman from around the world collection. Whoop, whoop. Because <laughs> if I show them live, it's much better. Because uh, they have all the gems and beautiful stuff in them. So we do a little uh, art exhibition, live art exhibition a la Bobby Becca. I have lots of artworks. Oh my God, and my attic is full. I could do that, couldn't I? Do you know artist Robert? Sorry, I can't even read. No, I don't. Kim said no. For the newbie. For the newbie? What do you mean for the newbie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you meant now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because some of them, I mean, they haven't seen. Oh, there we go, the apple. Now the pear. I fancy an apple now. I'm gonna go peel an apple. Yeah, I'm going to get the paintings out and ready, to be honest, because I haven't shown. Oh, look what I found. So sweet. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, everything fell on the floor. Are you kidding? Bobby <laughs> And that's how accidents are made. Pretty much, this is how accidents are made. I need something different for this one. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, this is so pretty as well. Okay. All the flowers are here. They are cute. Oh wow. It's nice when I open this wardrobe and I find so many things that are amazing. Oh, I've been looking for this for so long. Now I find it. This is good. This is good. I'm finding things, guys, that I haven't seen in ages. I'm looking here. Oh, stuff. 
What is this stuff? Exhibition. Wow, wow, wow. I'm getting the ladies out. We haven't had them out in a while, have we, guys? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Awesome. I missed you, girls. exhibition that's what we're going to do end it as soon as this ends we're going to do mini exhibits exhibition exhibition awesome oh aren't they just beautiful let me see Oh, wow, wow, wow. This is so beautiful. I love them. I love my ladies. We think they show in, but maybe it looked a little bit funny. Oh, there we go. We are ready for exhibition. As soon as I'm sitting out, as soon as the pair kind of goes i'm gonna show you guys i promise because i was telling uh peter early that i'm going to do a little show look <sighs> i know right we've been a long time hold on thank you guys and i appreciate all of you for being so long with me, we're like family, literally. No. Oh, oh my Oops, it is, eh? is that too much light? I'm fixing the lighting, so when we do light, we will uh, be good. Maybe it's a bit too high in this. Will be like live, 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 live. Look at that! Boom! The ladies are out. <laughs> My ladies are out. Look at that baby. Oh, come on! Hey, now we, it, it's gonna be name that lady. Hello. How are you? I'm good, lowercase dude. I am great, yeah. We're just painting a pair tonight and uh, doing a little pair uh, step by step. But um, in a minute, I will end this and I'm gonna do a quick little broadcast, a mini, mini broadcast, a uh, mini art exhibition. Ha. Huh to show you a few of my uh, uh, of my artworks from previously uh dimmy dirk is saying i can comment on perry but watch comments on hubs yeah because he cannot see comments on periscope so it would be better you being on hubs then for Lam Lampe because here you can read comments and comment <laughs> and then can, you can interact with everybody the whole cool AF fam oh my god guess what I found today downstairs I had there in the corner I found the cup because I have all my brushes in there <laughs> oh my god look at this oh Owen's hand, Owen have painted this when we were in Malawi 
and it's lots of little scribbles it's made a cup for me and here is this little hand no it is in london i think 12 no in london 12 12 no in malawi hold on 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know, sometimes. When did I come back? 11 or 12? Yeah, no, in London. We have just come, but his little hand, so little tiny. Now his hand is bigger than mine. 11, 10, tw 12, it says. So funny. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I just found it and I'm like, oh, my baby. Okay, that's it. That's it, guys. Buy me a coffee, and I'm saying, look, thank you, Lumpy and Mel, for the coffee. So, Lumpy and Mel, on this specific broadcast of doing the pair, have bought me a coffee. So, I am thanking them. But for the rest of you that haven't bought me a coffee, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash bobbybecca and you can buy a coffee. And if you are on the HAPS application, there is a button there that says buy coffee. So, that's another option straight from the app. Or you can click on the words. There is a coffee award. and uh, Or you can go to PayPal and buy a coffee there that's how everything goes and if i put this image right here on top i don't know if you can see or is it too too small i have put all my links uh, for donations you can go to paypal you can use buy me a coffee as well uh, for commission work you can email me Bob, info at bobbebecker.com so all the info is there. Follow me everywhere on Hubs, Periscope, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, Bobby Becker. You'll find me very, very easy. Because, yeah, I am very easy to find. So, yeah, that's how it goes, guys. Now, when I took the picture to put this screen, how to paint realistic apple, I think it's quite dark that picture but you can see when i'm painting the the actual pair that is not as dark <laughs> yeah it just ended up to be a dark picture it doesn't matter though you can see live how it's going and uh yeah just layering layering that paint and going slowly Info in bio, definitely. Info is on bio. I haven't put the info on bio, like in terms of, uh, I haven't put my buy me a coffee link. I haven't put my PayPal link uh, on my bio. But what I found out, if you go on haps.com, right? If you go on the haps website, and in the about page that they talk about the app, ah, I was pleasantly surprised to, to find myself, my picture there, on what Hubs is about. My photo is there. It's about, I don't know, three, six, nine people. And I'm one of them. So I'm really thankful and uh, appreciate you, Hubs team, putting me right up there. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Yes. And I enjoy talking about food. I mean, like, it's sexy talking about food. And it makes me hungry also. And about soups and your smoothies and watermelon and strawberries. And yeah, it's awesome stuff. <laughs> but uh, I like food. And uh, you are in the right place because I can always talk about food forever. I am a good cook also, and I am a great eater too. And I know good food when I taste it. <laughs> I don't think there is anybody out there that does not like good food, to be honest. Like, we all like good food. I just finished the last of the burek food art perfect indeed and chill out music 
a bit of jazz in the background. <laughs> Ah, you see, I, I don't think I ever tasted dragon fruit, so I'm sorry to disappoint you because I could have said, oh my God, that sounds good, but I don't know because I never tasted it. Uh, so, But I know that I'd love bread and feta cheese and watermelon. That would be my perfect combination. <laughs> That's my perfect combination too of food kind of is light and oh oh i'm getting hungry <laughs> i must go to Malden tomorrow okay let me go here for a sec guys Ta -da -da. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking at stuff in here. I can't find something that is very important to me. That's very good. show you something amazing but I can't I can't find it but something amazing Spanakopita I love Spanakopita <laughs> I finished the last bit I finished the last bit early but it was with meat and I had uh, the yesterday I finished the one with spinach and feta cheese oh so good and let me take this moment this uh, lovely little moment to say thank you to Mel, Toad and uh, Brett for uh, those awards. Awesome. There we go. Yeah, I think I should end it here because at this point I'll be doing a little bear with my Rembrandts. So yeah, if I end it here, it would be a better ending rather than uh, do the other painting. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much for joining. Join me right back one second as as soon as I put a different title. I'm going to show you. Oh, this is the other flute that I've been doing. So, but it doesn't matter. I can end that right now and uh, take the video off. Uh, so, yeah, I can do that. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for uh, watching, guys, for joining me tonight. Thank you. I am coming back live, probably, in 
two minutes if you want me to come back live see you later now i'm just coming you know new new title i'm just going to say live exhibition and that's it i'm going to show this ladies because these are awesome and i haven't shown them in ages so yeah let's do that let's do it do it this would be great to get a bit of oh I don't know how to do it so it doesn't show in my uh, lady's face and I think it doesn't yeah let's do that guys so I'm just gonna put a different title and I'm gonna go live again let's do that lots of love to you all be good to one another be good to yourself and uh, stay safe and god bless see you in five and tomorrow we are going to do watermelon how to paint watermelon step by step so join me again at 8 30 gmt london time that is but uh, same as today and today broadcast has been even shorter one hour 41 minutes which is awesome uh bye guys see you tomorrow night for the art tutorial and in five minutes for little art exhibition Thank you, Mel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Dimi. Thank you for the coffee.